had just finished recording what he thought would be a new album with the breakaway group, Anderson Bruford Wakeman Howe, when that band's manager, Brian Lane, called him up with an unexpected proposition. Actually, when, I, when, I, when he called me and said, Ear, this isn't going to be an ABWH album, this is going to be a Yes album, even I was surprised. Even I was surprised. I'm saying, this is not possible. Yes, record for another record label called Atlantic. Do you know this, Brian? I said, yeah, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, you know. We'll, we'll buy the name, we'll buy the name. So, um, I'm just told, I, as you can understand, I have no effect upon this kind of thing. I get told it's on a postcard, you know. It's not as though I like, dislike, or have any wish in any of this at all. I'm simply the drummer if I want to come along. Fine, if I don't, that's fine too. Drummer Bill Bruford of Yes. That band's entire 23-year history, by the way, will be the subject of an MTV rockumentary that you can catch at 7 p.m. this Saturday, 6 p.m. Central, and again on Sunday. Now for